May think June. Hello, little garter. Hello, little garter snake. How are you? You're awfully pretty. Oh, we got him. I'm going to take him. Oh, boy. He's harmless. So for fear that that guy will hurt this guy, I'm just gonna pick him up, take him over here. Take him, and I'm gonna actually put him like, right? Here you go, buddy. Here you go. So these guys are really good for our ecosystem, so I just don't see the point in bothering him all that much. Go on. I think he's a little scared though. And this guy is a notorious snake eater. No, no, no. Go on, go on, buddy. Go on. Go on. There we go. Goodbye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see Oh my gosh, what a surprise, guys, look No, Django Look Django, no Oh my gosh, hello, Littles Tabitha, three Oh my gosh Look at those little babies Oh my gosh, you're so cute. And of course the boys are going crazy because Tabitha's off the nest. She's mothering, boys. She's mothering. She's not interested in your shenanigans. Hello, my ragamuffins. And here we go. Here we go. Go get your dinner. I got no bottle, buddy. Sorry, love bug. No bottle. No bottle. No bottle. Even with him acting frantic like that, do not let it fool you. He's been off the bottle for a week now. He is 10 weeks old. It's time. He loves his hay. He loves his grain. But he is still wishing and dreaming about the bottle. The honeysuckle is in and the goats love honeysuckle. Here, make sure somebody can get some. Guys, it's the flowers. Oh my gosh. What a delicacy. You guys can start liking me a little bit. It's okay. You can stop liking me. So I literally just got up, hence this. But I was looking outside the window and I was looking at our beehives and there was stuff all over it that I could see from the house. So I decided to come out here and the invasion of 2021 has officially begun here. Oh my God, they're all over the trees too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey guys, the invasion has begun. They're all over. They climbed up. There's some down here 
on that leaf. You can see all the dead. And these are the skins, and that guy's kind of just come out of his skin. And look. They're over there. They're on this one. There's a couple on that one. This guy looks to be brand new, being all light colored and whatnot. And look, they're all over the tree. This guy just, this guy just came out of his shell. That's why he's light colored, but look guys. All over the tree. And then if you look even further up, you guys can kind of see like there's a little slit in the exoskeleton. And then these guys kind of harden off. See, this guy's not all the way out yet. So this is the 17-year cicada craziness that happens here in the Ohio Valley, the, the tri-state area. Probably all over the nation, I would assume, if you have cicadas, this is the 17-year, like, the mass. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> I just looked up into the leaves. It, so while it's quiet now and you've got all these exoskeletons everywhere, these guys just scream. <laughs> they just scream for a good portion of the summer and fly everywhere. And usually we'll have to net young tender trees because when they lay their eggs, they kind of like slice into the young trees, the young branches and lay their eggs and ends up killing the tree. So, oh my gosh, it's starting. See, this guy has just, has just emerged from the ground. He's crawling up and we'll probably shed this exoskeleton really, really soon. You guys can see there's a lot there. I mean, they're just, they're all the way up. And then if I go even further, look at the leaves. They're, they're totally full, totally full of cicadas. And this guy hasn't even come out yet, but he is in the process of breaking out of the exoskeleton. So he'll leave behind something like this and he'll look a little bit like this when he's all the way out and kind of dried off. This one just came out and that's why he's a little white. Oh my God, guys, we just looked out the window. We're getting ready to actually go live. It's Wednesday night and um, we were enjoying the life with Kat and John about their new alpaca baby. And I looked out the window and I was like, oh my God, Mark, look. We had a tree fall in the buck pen. No. Uh, look guys, we've been getting so much rain and I'm pretty sure this tree was starting to rot in the middle. Any damage, babe? Oh, geez. Well, looks like we got a little damage. Uh, man. Big tree. That's weird that there's like roots right in here. That's not in the ground. Mm -hmm. That must have been rotten in the middle. That must have like this might have been its own thing. Yeah. I yeah, I mean, it's There's a big, ants in there too. it's a big tree. Lots of ants in there. You guys can see it's on the fence, but all of the goats are okay. They're fine. Oh man, we almost had it bad. We almost had it hit this. I bet it hit it a little bit and slid right off. <sighs> I know what we get to do here soon. Oh, babe, better start firing up the chainsaws here in the next couple of days. So first and foremost, like we were just worried if these guys were okay and they're okay. So now we can count our stars and all of our blessings and how lucky this was for us. But now we're already looking at it and thinking where we need to cut and how we're gonna pull it up. Cause guys, like it is, it's out of this tree right behind me and it is, it's a big tree. Joe, what do you think? Just look at this thing. <laughs> She's working on her Vanna White skills. No, Mom, it's like this. Oh. <laughs> I'm hearing only heavenly voices because nobody in here was hurt. Maybe but I okay. guess I know what we're doing our weekend now. What are you doing, buddy? 
You got to be out? Oh, yes, you are. You're okay to be out, Mr. PP face. <laughs> Chew doesn't want nothing to do with you. So we were able to start working on this a little bit yesterday. It's hot as hot can get here. It is super humid. It is just a little bit unbearable. We haven't even got started. It's only like 8.30 and it's already just, it's gonna be a really, really nasty day. And we don't have a whole lot of time to work on this today. So you guys can see, we've worked on it a lot. I'll take you guys back out this way so you guys can see just how much we've actually worked on it. But we took a lot of time last night and we're out here kind of just cutting and dragging. We've got two really big piles of, but you guys can see, we've cut, it was like all the way out here and we've cut it all the way back and drug everything out. Now I just gotta try to get the goats out of here because as I was cutting this yesterday, they were starting to climb up in the tree and the tree leads right outside of the pen, which is fine, it's not a big deal. But then I have younger goats in here that have never really done that and I noticed they were getting stuck and stranded like in these branches that were kind of crisscrossing all over the ground so I had to get them out but goats just make any workspace chaotic so I'm trying to get them out of here but I don't know how well that's going to go because if I want them to go out of the pen they won't want to go but if I wanted to keep them in the pen they'd be busting to get out of here. Are you guys liking this? You can see this is a mulberry branch and as you can see we got berries coming in so I've been noticing that Mr. Flu has a dirty butt because he's been eating too many berries and they're upsetting his system. And you're all buckish for some reason. I don't know if someone's in heat or what's going on. Hello, Merida. Are we getting to be a little bit better being friends? No, maybe. Maybe. Can I take a step towards you without you getting all freaked out? Yeah, good girl. Good girl, pretty. Oh, this is, a, oh yes, good girl. I let you buy my finger so I can pet you. You ever let me pet you maybe? Not so much. So as you guys can see, we had this large tree fall in our goat pen that currently the lumberjack wrist is cutting up right now with the chainsaw. It, uh, we looked it over, made sure that we found all the points where it was coming into contact with other trees or the ground to make sure we weren't cutting something that'd make it unstable. But right now we're just uh, trying to section up the best we can so we can totally remove it. Lumberjack Queen. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Ashley has superior strength that she actually rips Watch. trees out of the ground it's her superhero strength <laughs> look at that Woo! it does help a little bit that we cut these down years ago years and the ago. goats have been nibbling on them who needs a stump grinder when you got goats so the thicker ones of course still have a lot of support in the bottom yeah. that way you can't break those off but the thinner ones are starting to finally rot out and we're taking them out so gives the goats more room to eat grass